Up ahead at the fifth. Soderberg for a birdie. He's had a couple already and one bogey. Oh, just loops in there. Very nice indeed. Soderberg. He's just had back to back birdies. That's for a hat trick, and in oh. she goes. He's nine under. Sebastian Soderberg. Seventh hole playing 170 yards today. Flag in the front right corner. That's a good luck. Birdie attempt here for Soderberg to join the lead. Hang on. Yes, well done. Just a short par four, but electing to play the driver. Yeah, you can throw it on from there. Terrific drive. Galloping on. Soderberg after that long, long tee shot here on 11. Just a little flick. Yeah, half a swing. Not even that. Yeah, brilliant from Soderberg. Can he take the lead on his own? Soderberg played this hole aggressively, deserves this putt to take the lead. Bang, in you go. Sebastian Soderberg takes the lead. Second week in a row. Can he stay there? Par three, 204 to the pin today. Tied for the lead. Good shot right over the flag. Sebastian Soderberg. This is quite fast down here. Little tickler down the hill for Soderberg. For the par, in you go. Well done. Right up and down. That, that white trunk just left of the flag. Drift in. Oh, pretty much like that. What a beautiful golf shot that is. Birdie attempt for Soderberg to move on his own. Out in front. Well done. 12 under. Started the day at minus six and six under today. Soderberg on the 14th. Now, a lot of players have had trouble off this tee. I don't know if it's the angle, it doesn't. Difficult to picture his shots. And a lot of players down the right. Not that one. That's a bullet straight down the middle. Long as well. Here's our joint leader, Soderberg. What happened there? Miss Q. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh. Don't always have to play a lob wedge. Uh, less lofty clubs and off up slopes. Just like that. Up ahead on 14. Keep that share of the lead. Yes, Poor wedge shot, but he followed it up with a good chip and a putt. Strides off to the 15th. Time for the lead. Doesn't look much club in his hand. Low hands at address. Soderberg. Uh-oh. Get right. There's a bunker over there. Ooh, he's missed it. Sitting down a bit, though. Very nice. Indeed. Safely done. The good putting's continued from last week. That weapon there behaved. Oh. 
Swings it well, though, doesn't he, Tone? He does. And he likes that one. His badness we've seen, well, we saw it at Valderrama last week on 17, and we've seen it once or twice this week. The bad one just takes off right and keeps going right. He'd be disappointed to be outside of 15 feet. And might expect quite a bit better, but he doesn't like it. Sounded a bit skinny. He did that on 14 as well. Same shot, just come out of it. And that was awful, I have to say. Soderberg after that different wedge shot here on 16. Well, shake of the head, should make his part. I'm expecting full power here. Far away, can it? Soderberg finished second last week. He's right up there again, tied second right now. Just a little pitch and run trying to play from that rough. No, he didn't quite get that. He's played several fantastic little pitches and chip shots today. It was not up to the same caliber. Soderberg for a birdie and a share of the lead here on 17 after that indifferent chip. Get there, get there. Oh, not quite. This stays a six under for his round. flight he sends that on that's a beautiful shot yeah, just needs a decent lie there that looked a good swing seven on good shot right under the hole as well this will be his eighth birdie of the day pops in Won't. Before that, third round for Soderberg. The day at six under. <coughs> Just doubles that one foul swoop. Beautiful stuff. And there is the new leader in the clubhouse, Sebastian Soderberg, alongside Jorge Campillo. Jeff Winter still with two holes to play. Sebastian, congratulations. 64 leaves you 12 under for the tournament. Currently two back. Talk us through your day. It was uh, overall very good. Uh, hit hit a couple of poor uh, wedges in the last four or five holes or so, but uh, the driver was overall perfect pretty much. I think I missed one really. And uh, yeah, I just gave myself a lot of chances and uh, it was pretty solid into the greens. So. And has your runner-up performance last week at Valderrama allowed you to play with a bit more freedom this week? Well, I mean, you, you kind of you play with the confidence of playing well, but you're not really satisfied in that way. and You don't really have to melt anything, I feel like, in that way. But, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to play as well as I can for as long as I can. And you said it's karma conditions out there today. Were you able to stick to your game plan initially or were you able to play a bit more aggressively? The, the greens are quite soft, so I, I've, I've played quite aggressively since day one. Uh, there's a few pins where it kind of looks like you shouldn't be aggressive, and then, but you, I, I still think you can go and attack most of the pins if you're in the fairway. My pleasure as always. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks to watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.